some bull. Hey, yeah, yeah. Candy. Woo. Got a nigga like candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet you taste just like candy. Uh, uh, Bet you taste yeah. just like candy. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 whoa. You make me, you make me, you make me, you make me, you make me wanna. What's up, Bub Squad? It's your girl, Bubbles, and welcome back to another mother loving video. So, I know I've been, um, I haven't been going for that long. I know I haven't, I didn't post last week. <laughs> I got stuff going on, okay? You'll find out later on, later down the line, what's going on. I promise. So, as you can tell by the title below, I'm going to be telling y'all about the time my sister thought it was okay to lie on me. And she just now came clean about it. Y'all, this happened like, let's see, it's 2020. This had to, this happened years ago. And she just now wanna come clean about it. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you also share my videos. And yeah. Let's get into this mother lover. I'm gonna try not to get upset <laughs> during this video. Like, she lied on me hard. Let me just get into the video. Years ago, this had to be like, what, 2010, 2011? Um, my sister was like five or six. It's like a seven, I believe it's like a seven years age difference between us. Something like that. At the time, she was like five or six, and at the time I was like, 11, 12, like the first time my mom left, well my parents left me and my sister home alone. We used to live in this, it wasn't that big, but we used to live in this other house. And we had a glass back door, but it had we had curtains that would cover it. That's just the main important part, is that that glass door that leads to the backyard. <laughs> okay, I had a cover. I had it just like this, wrapped around me. I didn't do nothing else. I had clothes on, and we just chilling downstairs. I think we had the connect at the time. We used to play the connect a lot, and then we would just be chilling. We could. There really isn't much that a child can do in the house alone, you know. I had a phone, but it wasn't like the phone I have. It wasn't like an iPhone where you could play music and stuff like that. Like it wasn't. It was a regular smegla phone, so either we could watch TV or play the connect. All that. That gives you a little backstory of how the day went. All right. Now it's nighttime. My parents are back. All I can remember is I'm downstairs and my mom screams, Kalea! She ain't do it like that. I kind of was dramatic with that, but she was like, Kalea! I'm like, what I, what I do now? Like. Here we go again. She comes downstairs. Kamani comes downstairs too. Before Kamani even came downstairs, she asked me. She said, were you standing in the front of the window with your clothes off, shaking the stuff while a man was outside cutting grass? What was I doing? I said, huh? She asked me again. I said, no. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? She goes, well, why is Kamani saying you did it? As soon as she said Kamani said that, I was like, oh, she just lying on me now? She gonna lie on me like this. Okay. I, t I said, no, mom, I did not do that. No, that is a false, that is a lie. I did not do that. So she calls Kamani downstairs. Kamani sits down. My mom goes, repeat to me what you said upstairs. Kamani literally says word for word while I'm sitting there. She says, Kalia had a cover wrapped around her and she ain't have no clothes on underneath. And she went over there and was and opened the cover while a man was outside and she was going like this. No, I didn't. So we go, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Why are you lying on me? Well, my mom, 
she didn't know who to believe. She doesn't want to believe that I would do that. But then it's like, why would you, why would a five, six year old, five year old, six year old come out the blue and say that? Kids lie. Kids make up stuff just cause. I'm just like in disbelief. I'm like, she really is sitting here saying this stuff. Like what? When a black mama just, when she opens something, she ready. She ready to do whatever. She said, look, if one of y'all don't tell the truth, y'all both gonna get a whooping. And I ask you again, did you do it? No, she hit me. She said, Kamani, did she do that? Kamani said, yes, she hit Kamani. We both got a whooping. And I'm like, what am I getting hit for? I'm telling you the truth. My mom talks to my dad about it. My dad thinks that I possibly did it. I barely like showing my body now. So what makes you think 11, 12 year old me was going to dance in the window while a man outside cutting grass? He focused on cutting grass, not looking at no little kid. We both were on punishment for that situation because she lied and all she had to do was say, nah, I just lied. And that was held over my head for the longest. So now, here we are, 2020. I forgot where we were coming from. I think we were coming from Chick-fil-A or whatever. And we were at the gas station. So we're in the car, we're just chilling. And my mom goes, you remember that time Kamani said that you were dancing in the window naked while a man was outside cutting grass. Said, oh, don't remind me, please. Because that like that really messed me up. It scarred me for a while. Because why would you think I would do that? I was ready to pop Kamani in the mouth. She goes, I said that? I said, yes, you did. Don't act like you don't remember. You said that. She goes, no, really, I said that? I said, Kamani, yes. She was like, oh, sorry. Mean to tell me that you really, you just now admitting that you lied? So my mom goes, so you lied on her? And she goes, yeah. <sighs> Is that not an issue to you? Do you not see the problem? Do you not? Do you not see the problem? We went years with trying to figure out who's telling the truth. Of course, I was telling the truth the whole time. But we went this far just for you to now confess that you lied on me and you think it's funny? You think it's a game? And my mom goes, come on, that's not funny while laughing. Come on, that's not funny. Because you you really lied on her? I, and come on, all she, that's all she can do. And I'm not going to let it go. I probably won't even after recording this video. I'm probably not going to ever let it go. Because why would you lie on me like that? You know how. Why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> Wait. I just don't understand. Like now every time something happens, I keep an eye on Kamani. I really do. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. I'll be keeping an eye on her because I'm like, I don't know if you're going to try to lie on me again. That's not even funny. And I see y'all laughing. That's not even funny. Mm. That's the story about when my sister thought it was okay to lie on me. Before I end this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe and hit that bell notification to know every time I post. I say that right. And be on the lookout for a video on me and Caleb's YouTube channel, KMB Nation. Eh, wrong. KMB Mafia. Is there anything else I gotta say? No. We out this mother lover. <laughs>